This tree contains one of the few sources of testosterone in the wild. This is pine pollen. Most people see it as an annoying powder that covers everything, but it's actually one of the most nutrient-packed foods in the forest. It is one of the few plants that contains bioidentical testosterone. 10 grams of pine pollen contain roughly 0.8 milligrams of testosterone. It also contains other androgens like DHEA, androstenedione, and androstrone. Considering the average testosterone of a man decreases by 1% every year, and there are a ton of estrogenic chemicals in the plastic in the environment, Pine pollen may be a useful tool for improving male hormonal health. In addition to male hormones, pine pollen also contains amino acids like L-DOPA, which is a precursor to dopamine. The powder contains a wide variety of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin D3, selenium, zinc, potassium, and magnesium. The tree I'm harvesting from is eastern white pine, Pinus strobus. However, most commercial pine pollen comes from Scots pine or Chinese red pine. Eastern white pine is an underutilized tree in eastern North America. It has relatively smooth bark for a pine tree. The young trees and limbs of white pine have smooth grayish brown bark and it turns dark and scaly as it gets older. If you happen to come across a fallen white pine tree, you can carefully remove the smooth sections of the bark with a knife or a saw. Then you can fold the bark to make various watertight containers. You can even use hot rocks to boil water in a survival situation. Eastern white pine is also identified by its needles that form in bunches of five. These needles can be used as a tea or fermented into a sprite-like soda. If you do make a pine needle tea, make sure to keep the water below the boiling point because heat can destroy vitamin C. Pine pollen has a very short window of collection. When I lived in western North Carolina, this period was late April to early May. This year in Maine, I collected the pollen in early June. In the spring, pine trees will begin to form new growth at the end of their branches. A week or two after the pine tips appear, catkins will begin to develop. Pine trees have both male cones and female cones. The female cones are commonly referred to as pine cones. Now the male pollen cones will be greenish yellow and tightly packed at first. As they get ready to release, they turn bright yellow and loosen slightly. The best time to harvest catkins is right before they start releasing pollen. You can collect the entire pine tips and cones together by picking or cutting them. Make sure not to take too many pine tips from any particular branch or tree because this can stunt the tree's growth. You can also use a paper bag or jar to collect the catkins that are actively releasing pollen. This method is less efficient but it does no damage to the trees. Two points of caution. Some pine species are potentially toxic like ponderosa pine, so familiarize yourself with the species in your area and avoid any questionable pine trees. Pollen allergies are also very common, so if you have a severe allergy to pine trees, it is best not to consume the pollen. Once you are home, leave the pollen and cones out to dry. After a few days, any immature pollen cones will release their pollen. Put the pollen and cones through a sifter to isolate the pollen. You can also put the pollen in the freezer to break the cell wall. Freezing it can be a great way to crack the cell walls of the pollen. However, there isn't strong scientific research on whether breaking the cell walls is useful. Pine pollen can be used in a powder form raw. You can add to water, smoothies, or even oatmeal. Making a tincture with pine pollen, however, is one of the best ways to get the medicinal benefits. Pine pollen is fairly hydrophobic, so it's best to use a higher alcohol percentage for the tincture. You can make a tincture with the pine cones or just the powder for greater potency. The pollen will naturally want to rise to the top of the jar, so make sure to shake it every day. Pine pollen contains over 200 nutrients, including glutathione and superoxide dismutase. Glutathione is made by the liver naturally and binds itself to toxic chemicals to flush them out of the body. Superoxide dismutase helps protect our DNA and cells from oxidation. I find that pine pollen gives me extra energy and motivation, so it functions nicely as a pre-workout. I have tinctures of white pine pollen available on my website. They are made with organic alcohol and wild harvested pine pollen.